I personally, and this is the hardest thing to explain sometimes, because a lot of people think I don't believe in being led by the Spirit. I do believe in it, right? I just don't technically believe in it usually like you usually see it practiced because most people see being led by the Spirit as an every now and then type of thing. Every now and then the, the, the Spirit will lead you to do something. I don't see that in the Bible. Now in the Old Testament, yeah, at times the Spirit of the Lord began to move so you could see certain things. But in the New Testament, but see in the Old Testament, the Spirit came and went. Usually didn't stay. In the New Testament, He dwells. He doesn't come to visit. We're not, we're, we don't receive a visitation of God. We are a habitation of God. That's a massive difference. That means he's always in there. We just read a while ago. The spirit that dwells in us lusteth to envy. He's always in there wanting us to give him attention and follow him. We're, now, he's always leading. We're just not always obedient. But he's always in there saying, do this, do this, live this way, say this. It's just that we're not always listening or not always obedient. And, and you can tell a lot of times, going to say, you know, I knew I should have done that. Something told me. It wasn't something. It was someone. It was the Spirit of God in you telling you, you know, leading you, and you recognized it, but you didn't know who, and you didn't follow it. Now, so I believe in that, in, in, in according to uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 14, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they're the sons of God. Uh, the Greek language there says, as many as are constantly led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God. So that proves that we should be constantly led. And all of Romans 8 is about you killing the deeds of the flesh. And as long as you're killing the deeds of the flesh, you are following the leading of the Spirit because the Spirit's leading you to kill the deeds of the flesh. That's not the flesh trying to get you to kill it. That's the Spirit trying to get you to mortify the deeds of the flesh. So that's how I see the leading. So if I pick up the Bible and read something that says do it, and I actually go do it, then I know that when I go do it, that I was being led by the Spirit to do it because the Spirit wrote this book. Amen. So I'm being led. Now, I may not feel it, but you don't have to feel it. See, if I told somebody, hey, listen, um, you know, I paid for you a lunch over at the restaurant over here. Well, you don't have to feel anything. If I tell you, now just go over there and eat. All you got to do is get up and go. You don't have to feel anything. You do have to believe my words, right? You don't need a feeling. You don't have to say, wait, let me see. Oh, yeah. Because you know, probably maybe the only feeling you get was your stomach growling. Maybe that was it, you know? Oh, yeah, I feel, I feel a rumbling in the spirit, you know? I don't, I don't know, <laughs> okay? But you just got to get up and go do it. And, and whenever they were telling me that's what they did at Dake's church, I'm, I'm like, yeah, that just verified the things that I was learning that we can actually believe this and go do it at will. Why? Because if, it, if it's ever God's will, it's always God's will. Because what? God's will doesn't change. Why? Because he never changes. So this is super simple stuff. Now, 